are you in Nigeria or anywhere in Africa and trying to get paid on Upwork without losing 30% of your money to taxes? Then stick around because in this video, we are breaking down how to fill your W8BEN tax form on Upwork so you can get your money, skip the stress and stay 100% compliant. We'll also be looking at the latest update from Upwork regarding filling your tax information and how you can do this even if you don't have your TIN yet. So let's go. So let me give you a quick backstory. Upwork is a US company, so by law, they have to ask every non-US freelancer to confirm they are not from the US. That's where the W8BEN form comes in. Without it, Upwork will start withholding back 30% of your earnings. That can be very, very painful. So think of this as your passport to get access to your cash. For those of you who might be wondering what the W8BEN form is, it's just a fancy form that says, Hi, I'm not a US citizen. I live in Nigeria or Ghana or Kenya, and I shouldn't be taxed like an American. Let's look at some of the latest changes that have happened with Upwork's tax requirement. Now, in 2022, Upwork made it clear that if you don't give your tax information, then there's going to be no payment for you. But now they have made things a bit easier. So unlike before, now you can use your NIN. That's your national ID number if you don't have a TIN yet. And if your info changes, such as when your location changes, Upwork will even remind you to update your tax info once you change the location on your profile. Additionally, if you previously completed a version of the W8BEN that did not include a statement of source, you will see a separate statement of source section that you need to fill. A statement of source certification is required to confirm that work is performed outside the US. So don't be alarmed if you see a notification at the top of your Upwork profile asking you to update your tax info. The previous tax information might just be outdated or it might not include the statement of source section. Now remember this. You will not be able to withdraw your earnings from Upwork until you complete this form. If you have a TIN from your local tax office, great, use that. But if you don't, Upwork says, go ahead and use your national ID number. That's your name. Yes, your 11 digit name works perfectly for Nigerian freelancers. Now, other African countries might be asking, what about us? You also go ahead and use your national ID or tax ID. Whatever your government gave you, go ahead and use it. Now, there's a caution here, please. Don't use fake numbers. If you don't have anything, you don't have a TIN, you don't have an NIN, you don't have any form of identification, just reach out to Upwork Support. They've got options for you. Here's how to complete your tax info on Upwork step by step. Number one, log into Upwork, click on your profile picture, then go to settings and then go to tax information. Step number two, confirm your tax residence. So make sure it says Nigeria or wherever you live. And then fill out the W8BEN section. That's step number three. Click on add tax info, choose individual, and then enter your legal name, nationality, and birth date. And then step number four, we need to do something about the tax ID section. So here's where you type in your TIN or NIN. Remember that either one works. And then for the final step, step number five, you just need to sign and submit. And this is where you will see a short declaration. Upwork called this the statement of source. So check that box, type your name as a digital signature, and boom, you're done. And see that it's very, very simple. Now, Upwork will mark your form as completed, and now you're good to go. No more withheld earnings. 
if you're in Nigeria, you will see a small VAT charge on service fees. That's local tax. It's separate from the W8BEN and it has nothing to do with the W8BEN actually. And you really, you don't have anything to stress about. If you don't understand how the VAT charges work, I covered that in another video and I'll be leaving the link to that video in the description. Let's wrap this up with some quick tips. If you move to another country, just update your tax information. The form usually lasts three years, but off will remind you to renew. Never enter any random or fake information. It can get your account flagged. Believe me, you don't want that. Keep your ID documents updated on your profile too. And if you are earning consistently, consider registering for a TIN. It helps with the future financial stuff with loans or visas. All right, family, that's your latest guide to filling out the W8BEN form on Upwork. If this video helped you out, show some love. Hit like, subscribe, and share with your freelance circle. If you've got any questions, just drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to help. My name is Tokwe, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy freelancing.